Here we go with this secret that's not really a secret or a big deal, but Eric and Nicole making it be, seem like it's one of those. You gonna make Incredible Hawk mad, and he gonna smash things. Nicole, are you ready for Incredible Hawk to turn green? I suggest you go ahead and tell the secret now and forever hold your goddamn peace. Cause you know Brady don't play when it comes to secret or bullshit. Okay now, lose the only man that give a fuck about you now if you want to. Oh, so Andre, you a fool too, huh? You actually think that photo is real and can't be photoshopped, altered, or any type of way to make it seem like Chad? Okay, Andre. I thought you were smarter than that and no shit can be altered and manipulated and make it seem like it really ain't there, but I guess that you got to play along with the script too, huh? Or you just this really just got them down to believe that that photo is real. I don't know why y'all think that photo is real. I would have called this goddamn bluff on that goddamn photo. How you took a clear, how you took a clear shot of a dark, come on now. A clear shot, and you can see when them lights got turned off, it was dark as fucking them. Now how all of a sudden with a camera and a flash, you, you happen to got a clear shot of him doing all this. Really? Y'all better call his goddamn bluff with that picture. Speaking like a true criminal, why don't you go ahead and admit all your crimes and why your stupid ass doing it in the first place? I don't understand you, Trip. I really don't. I'm hoping this just a little phase for you, and hopefully they get you the help you do desperately need, because clearly you act like your mama. You're more like your mama than we thought. So I'm hoping... That you go to this little phase, you hit this bomb, you go to some crazy house where Marlene and you get your shit together, then you come back and holler back at us. Cause I don't understand you. Yes, I know you mad that your mama did. Yes, I know you want revenge. However, your mama done done too much shit and it was only a matter of a time before so somebody get her and kill her ass. Did you forget what she did to them? Even that Kayla did kill her, so what? Hell, she didn't do enough to Kayla that whole damn storyline for Kayla to, I'm surprised Kayla didn't kill her. Shit. To be fair and be honest, all that shit she didn't did to Kayla, only thing Kayla did to her, beat her ass that one time, grabbed her by her ass, beat her ass. You lucky that's all Kayla did to her. Because if I would have been Kayla, oh, she would have been a dead bitch, gone bitch, by bitch. The mean, hmm, hmm. Okay, um, trip. You, I, I, you, you, it's funny how you forgiving all what your mama done in them, but it's so easy for you to go get revenge on them because they killed your stinking ass mama. Okay, I see how it works. They shouldn't have killed your mama, meaning that she could have killed them and you would have been okay with this home. Trip, get it together. For the first time, Victor, I don't give a fuck what you feel. If you want the dead's most dead, you should have came up with a better scheme than this. For the last time, you don't want something to spend it. Who the fuck you think you is? You already done fucked up your plan, and then had your grandson doing the heat for you. That best of what you're doing, punishing your own ass. Now, you didn't got rid of dead's most. Thanks again for that, however. However... You let your grandson take the fall for your... Victor, I thought you were smarter and better than this. Apparently not. I guess when you do something, I guess and somebody got to suffer. And that means the son is suffering, missing these valuable times with his damn daughter. Cause of your... I can't cuss you out like I want to. Cause I'm glad there's most dead if it's by your hands. So I can't cuss you out too goddamn much the way I want to right now. But yeah, that is fucked up how you got Sunny doing your time for your old ass like that. Think about it, Joey. Think about who that come from. That didn't come from his man first. Think about the Joey. And then you then you think about it. Call that bitch and cuss the dog fuck out of her ass. Tell, no, tell her to, no, bring her ass back to town, cuss the dog fuck out of it, and have her ass to, um, arrest it too for attempted murder or whatever this fool fit to do. Make her ass go down with him. That's what the fuck you do, Joey. Steve, make it happen. If only Kayla killed her. You lucky she didn't, um, trip. 
I'm done with you till you get to the good part. Cause I don't want to hear you babbling on about your no good ass mama. I ain't got time for that. Nicole, that what you get for being a nosy bitch. Whatever Victor was talking about on his phone and his house should have been his business. Nah, you just had to go confront. Oh, who we who we protecting now? Mm-hmm. You all sit your nosy ass down now, won't you, somewhere? Mm hmm See, you know Victor don't like you. Now, why would you go out there thinking it was okay to go ask some questions like that? You know that's a no-no. You thought because you was in his house, y'all was all cool and friends again? <laughs> Girl, Victor still don't like your ass. Now, you thought it was okay to go ask questions like that? Now, he finna get in your ass. So I tuned in after skipping this during bedroom talker with Chad talking to um, Abigail. So basically it's him admitting that he was wrong. He should have took responsibility. He guilty. Chad, no the fuck you ain't guilty. I really wish Victor her up and do what the fuck he got to do in the uh, that shit come out for you can shut the fuck up with this guilty shit. Cause you giving Abigail too much goddamn credit for something that she started it and, and, and um Dario finished. Chad, I really wish this to her up and come to hell out now. I'm tired of this. Trip, you an idiot. That is all. That is all I got to say to you. You an idiot. It's amazing. What people can do to somebody's mind that's already ain't right and really fuck it up. Jade, you a black widow. We we take a full advantage of your power. We know you were just goddamn powerful to manipulate a dummy like him. Make him go do your evil doing while he think he doing his evil doing. Jay, we never gave you the right for credit. Hear me give you the credit you deserve. You really put your foot in this one and really got this one going. I'm really not fit to sit here and listen to Chad blame himself for this bullshit. Chad, if you think about it and you look at the picture, you doing the wrong goddamn thing feeling sorry for something that shouldn't have happened, something that she got started. And you, I can't. Chad, good luck when you find out the real truth and realize how, well, I can't say you look dumb because they, they got you thinking that she did all this to say your life like she's some Wonder Woman or something. So I can't blame you. However, we can blame Victor for putting you on this pal, would put her on this pal with the pal where she thought she was saving you, which she wasn't really saving you. Then she about killed her own ass jumping in front of her car like she was... Hurricane Jane. Oh my God, Victor, you getting old and you getting slippery. I mean, you can barely hold your balance slippery. You really didn't get another flight in or hire somebody else to go pick this fucker up to bring him to Salem. You really put him on your jet, had a flight plan and all, talking about some merchandise. Really, Victor? Really? You was that desperate to get rid of Desmo that you fucked up this bad. Now they can actually prove that you the one that... Victor, I'm going to blame it on old age. That's what I'm going to do. Because I know better. I know Victor Kiriakis ain't fucking up this goddamn bad. I'm going to blame it on your old age. I, I, I'm just going to take it up as you getting old and you might have fucked up there. You might have a brain fraud or whatever. Or you weren't thinking that your right mind. That's what I'm going to think it is, Victor. You really just goddamn slippery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, see, Victor, now, I was here for you giving and getting in the cold ass to fuck around with you and worrying about who you talking to. Now, don't start talking about her, baby. Don't start talking about the Victor. Now, that you going below the bell. You have fun picking at Nicole. Brady for the pick at your ass back because he know that you done did that now. So while you cussing her out, you get prepared for yours and go get you another drink because you might need it, Victor. Oh, look at the brave little man got a surgical knife up here threatening Kayla with it. You such a brave little man, all in the name of love with your dead mother. Your raccoon ass mother, I may add. Yes, I'm bringing raccoon back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chad telling he got feelings for Abigail. Gabby walks in and hear this conversation. Let me guess if it'll freak the fuck out now. 
I really wish y'all this to straighten up. I, I really wish we don't spend too much time on this. And this straighten all the hell up immediately. Well, it's gonna straight up. Now that Brady know about it now. Okay, Trip. Now you just showing your little ass now. You want her to confirm. You want her to tell you her confession on your phone while you hold this knife to her for a crime she didn't commit. You fool. Oh my gosh. You know you're going to jail, right? You better hope Steve have this much sympathy for you to help get you the help you need out the jail and then fuck with your head, really. You better hope Steve forgive you fucking with his weakness. Oh, Gabby. Gabby, 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 honey, you don't realize you already lost Abigail and Chad. Well, you didn't lost Chad already. You don't realize that you doing all this and praying about it ain't going to do you no damn favors. You already lost, honey. You lost the day you thought it day him, to be quite honest with you. And stupid ass don't have another stupid ass thought and end up leaving him again. You already then lost. I don't know why you don't see this, but... If they want you to pray to your to whoever you believe in, go ahead and pray. I I, I guess I can sit here and watch you acting food, wishing you can have Chad, but you can't. Yep, as suspected, they woke up at the last two minutes of the show. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day, and have a good weekend. Bye.